All right, let's work our way down the list even more. So, brother, can you spare a coin? Yeah, kind of. Pasta's on sale for one coin, but Mario can't find his wallet. Help him out. This sounds like a really, really stupid concept for a level. Uh, <clears throat> let's see what happens, though. I have a dollar on me, probably. I can probably give one to uh, Mr. Mr. Super here. <clears throat> okay, that's the coin. I can get it. Oh. Alright. Uh, I wonder what happens if I run uh, too far ahead. If the coin uh, despawns or something like that. Nevertheless, this is uh, actually shaking up to be a really, really funny level. <laughs> Look at this shit. Ah, that's great. Okay, so... Oh, you have the pal block and it makes all the... Um, all the coins in the previous section drop off. Cool. So, I wonder if I need to actually trigger all of these. Um, I could probably come back. No! <laughs> oh, man, I got snagged before it got to me. Oh, jeez. This is... Uh, oh, man, that's amazing. Alrighty. The soul level... You know what? You could have renamed it. Coin Cuckers. That's, uh, okay. I got it. I gotta see what happens here. No! What the hell was that sound? The level just farted at me. It's the goddamn guardian ape all over again. It's gonna throw doo-doo at me. Okay. How about... Oh, it's a pig. Wait, what? How could the pig sometimes goes... Throw doo doo at my face right now. I do not appreciate it. This is very amusing to me. Which then begs the question of, uh, can I? Okay, so there's the, there's the, there's the spring. Can I do some really kick ass, like, like jump, uh, there's gotta be some, like, cool, um, like, like, technique where I, like, jump and then kick off of a spring at the same time to get extra height to be able to get up there, right? Like, what's the, uh, there's gotta be some sort of, um, nice. There's gotta be some sort of broken-ass strategy that they can use here, right? Uh, I certainly know that I'm not gonna be able to just jump across this cavern to get there. But I'm not, I don't know a whole lot about, like, advanced platforming techniques, so I don't know, um, any way to, like, optimize my vertical and or horizontal jump distance to be able to pull this off. Um, it's like, maybe I can, yeah, mid-air spring jump, right? Yeah, I don't think that you can do that in the Super Mario 3 thing, because I think it requires, a like, a wall jump to pull off at the same time. I don't know. Can I, uh, mid-air jumps are a thing, but many jumps are removed. Shell jumps, wall shell jumps are still in. Yeah, I don't think I can do a mid-air spring jump when I, uh, am, um, not, uh, when I'm not, when I'm playing in, a uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, but I truly don't know. Uh, what I can do is just aimlessly jump, drop the spring while I'm standing next to the wall. That's kind of cool. Oh, shit! I didn't realize I needed to be, uh, playing through the rest of the level. Oh, honey, I'm in a coin. Oh, I coined everywhere. Oh, sorry. Sorry! <laughs> Probably not the sexiest thing to say. Coin. No! Wait, I did it! Oh, boy! Terrifying. I uh, used to be able to drop in the air. They took out mid-air spring jumps in Mario Maker 2. Aw. Well, that's a shame. Not like I knew how to do it in the first place, but at least now I feel like I'm on uh, even ground with everybody. Alright, so this guy's named after my favorite drug. Quack Cocaine. Solve this one-screen puzzle to escape the room and win! Alright, let's go for it. I know people were super stoked for this game. I bet a lot of people were probably really fucking angry when it turns out that they, like, nerfed the movement tech in it. 
Then again, I don't run speed, so meh. Alrighty, this is an incredibly confusing screen. We got, who's that green asshole up there? I don't even know. Okay, so I can't go up. Can't go up. I, oh, that was uh, unexpected. Hmm. Okay. So I can cause a spiny to drop if I uh, break both of those things at the same time. I can then. Uh, let's. What happens if I throw it at that red block? Okay, nothing happens if I throw it at the red block. I come up here. Uh, okay, this is gonna be another spy I need to work with. It's just the shell too, which is also very interesting. Um, can I throw the spiny up at that? Oh. Oh, that's a mechanic in this game. I did not know. All right, so I can't go up. I can make it so that I permanently spawn spinies. Oh, I want to break that. Okay. And then I think that what I want to do is probably just take the spiny shell and throw it up. There we go. And then I think if I just hit it. Ow. Okay, so that gets it up there. I can knock it off. I don't, I don't know if I can take the hat off. I'm gonna do a spin jump, but that doesn't seem like it's gonna do anything for me. Uh, I can't throw the spiny shell up towards um, Mr. Yosh. Hmm. Ow. Okay, and I don't think I can jump up any higher than I currently can. Oh wait, yes I can. Oh fuck. No wonder, no wonder they told me not to do this. All right, so I guess I was supposed to jump up here whilst beholding a spiny. Um, I could do that. The uh, I could do that though. This would be fine. Okay, so we break that. We grab uh the spiny and we throw it down. There. Oh, I probably don't want to do that. I probably really don't want to do that. I probably need those coins to be there later on in the level. Okay, how do I, uh, how do I, how do I do this? So I, I jump on that, or how do I, how do I make the shell my, my hat again? Okay, well, that's definitely not the way to do it. Okay, uh, let's not collect those coins with the spiny shell, first of all. Second of all, uh, we'll try to remember, maybe it's just, Maybe I just stand under it, and then it lands in my head, and then I get it. Okay, cool. Then I break that, and that, and then I break... I'm guessing I don't want to break the P-switch yet. That might be another thing. So, let's, uh, break that, or let's, uh, let the, sh the, s the, the shell come down. Okay, um, I'm thinking that what I want to do probably is come up here, throw the shell... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, hmm. Okay, so I need to figure out a way to get the spiny shell to be bouncing back and forth without, like, uh, manually getting up there to throw it around. I guess it is doable, somehow. This is a problem. This is uh, what I didn't want to do. Okay, I can summon another spiny shell, right? Or let's just throw it upwards and la have it land on our head. There we go. Okay, I can break that. Okay, that's a problem. He broke the P-switch way earlier than what I wanted him to. So, oh, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. There we go. Can I just break that? So, I ah, aha, okay, I see all this... Uh, so, yeah, yeah, this is looking good. Okay, then I, I jump on uh, um, Mr. Mr. Yosh here. Now that I have him, what do I want to do? I can, I can, uh, what can I do? I can, uh, well, um,
There's probably some, like, Yoshi mechanics that I just don't know about. Like, the ability to, uh... Maybe I was supposed to eat that shell? Okay, that caused that to happen. Um, that, that guy... Uh... Oh, wait, hold on. I think I get it. I think I get it. So, I'm gonna stand here as Mario. That's gonna come down. And then I'm supposed to be able to leave. And I think that now that I have Yoshi, I can just eat the fireball. Okay, now that I've eaten the fireball, I can uh, spit it out, which will hit the bob arm, And then that blows it up. I also got the key, so I managed to very perfectly aim that. So that was really great. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I also got one up stars. Ah, that was a cute little level. Easy enough. Uh, have I intentionally sought any levels? Uh, you can spit out some levels on the condition that you did not make them. Uh, I don't want to be that guy. Alright, uh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Cloud top climb? Nah, 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 nah. Collapsing cavern. That seems fun. 1% clear rate. Alright, I can do this. What's the worst that can happen? Ha! <laughs> uh, it's a, by a guy named after Cereal. And he's Canadian. Ugh! Although, now that I think about it, Bran isn't Cereal. What the hell is Bran? I know that Bran is, like, often paired with Raisin, but, like... What? What? I've had Raisin Bran. But I don't know what the brand part, like, actually is. It's, uh, because in my mind, like, Raisin brand, the brand component was basically just oats. Is that what brand is? Is brand just oat? Then why don't they call it Raisin Oats? Brand is equal to fiber. Uh, so then that would mean that bran and beans are made of the same thing. But you wouldn't eat bean and raisins together, would you? Hell no. I mean, I guess you could- God damn it! I guess you could eat beans and, uh, and, um, raisins together. But, uh, if you do that, then you're not allowed to watch my videos anymore. Just saying. I just- I'm not gonna associate with a raisin beaner. Uh, hmm. Beaner probably wasn't the best word to use there. I apologize for that one. Um, <laughs> Uh, we'll go with, uh, <clears throat> a, a bean eater who raisins. We'll go with, uh, people first language there. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Up uh, here. No. Fuck. Bye. <coughs> Alrighty. Uh, I'm not doing too great on this one. That's fine. I understand why it has a 1% clear rate now. Um, I wonder if that's, uh, 1% of players, so, like, people just give up, or if that's, like, 1% one, uh, 1 of people complete it, um, in a given life, maybe? Like, if those are the odds of you beating it in a given, um, a, uh, attempt. I'm not too sure. It's kind of neat, though. Uh, Bran is pieces of grain husk separated from flour after milling. Okay, that's really cool and all. I don't recall asking for the definition of the word Bran. I recall asking for what Bran is, meaning that I was speaking more about the, uh, the connotations of Bran. Like, like, linguistically speaking, it's more about, like, what Bran means to us and, uh, our cultural zeitgeist surrounding the, um... Uh, the integration of Bran into, uh, American diets. Oh, fuck. This looks like it's gonna get quite difficult now. I'm not looking forward to that. There's a... A 1% clear rate is all of a sudden becoming fairly evident on what that means. Oh, wow. Smooth. Uh-oh. Huh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Okay, um, trickier, but not totally undoable. Okay, that's, that part's good. 
And then I think I'm supposed to land on top of icicles. I think I'm supposed to, uh, I'm guessing that they're uh, solid. Okay, the icicles are indeed solid. Um, I think that I can probably bait them into falling again. So then allow me to make that jump again. Okay, so I guess what I want to do is probably... Uh, shit! No! Okay. Uh, I did pull off a pretty sick maneuver there, baiting the icicle and then, um, jumping on it again. I have had a, a very... I've played a lot of platformer games. I know lots of, like, little smooth tricks like that. Ah, fuck! I don't need your sass. I just need your money. <clears throat> God damn it. <sighs> okay, okay, here we go. Uh... Now. Boy, I'm gonna rack up quite a death count on this one, aren't I? So yeah, I guess the percentage means that 1% of players have completed it. Which is probably mostly the fact that I'm betting most people probably just, uh... Rage quit this level rather than see it through all the way. I assume that 1% is probably not the biggest, uh... Like, indicator. I think that it's probably a relatively flawed statistic. I would imagine that uh, difficulty might be a function of, like, um, if your level is, like, so hard that no one bothers to play it, then, like, it's gonna have, like, a really low, uh, like, just an um, amount of data. Like, if your level is really hard but also not fun, then uh, your clear rate is gonna be artificially low because straight up nobody likes to play it. <clears throat> so, uh... I imagine there's some, like, actual nuance to measuring, uh, the difficulty of a level outside of just, like, the, the raw clear rate, you know? I don't know. There's probably some nerd that figured all that out. No! Okay. God damn it! I'm trying to, trying to land on the notch heap. I'm not landing on the notch. I'm just landing, landing well behind the, uh, the corner there. Okay, this is gonna be fine. This, yeah, okay, good stuff. Okay, then jump up here. Jump up on the icicles. Barely enough. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, that's gonna slowly fall down. Oh, fuck me. Yeah! 1%, baby! That's not very hard at all. Most people are just quitters. Losers. Alrighty. Uh, fast switch thinking in auto scroll. Not super interested in that. Skip squeak manner. Uh, oh, I also have a uh, a uh, lookup that I can do of a Ross O'Donovan level. That should be pretty good. So if I just knew how to actually enter a code in. Okay, that's by popularity. Okay, this will allow me to get the levels there. Uh, courses. Okay, this is different pages. And do I press plus? Course bot? What the hell is this thing? Oh, this allows me to, this is managing my own uh, courses. Okay. Let's go back to Course World, and let's get defeated by the <laughs> by the menuing, I guess. All right, cool. 